everyone namaste everyone and welcome back to my channel awaken with pradnya and in this new segment which i started which is called from the memory box this is my second video and i have decided to share my experience where i first time experienced a direct communication from someone from the higher realms all those who have not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and click on the notification icons all those who want to have one on one private sessions with me more details in the description of this video apart from this anybody is having any sort of questions or any topics you want me to make videos on please let me know either on my instagram account or through my email or in the comments of my any of my videos and i will reply you back and i will try my best to make the videos on which you are really wanting to see videos this was the first and foremost amazing experience in my life where i received direct guidance from higher realms where i was literally seeing something in my vision and i knew that this is not my imagination somebody is literally trying to send me a live message in my vision it was out of this world and till date whenever i think about it i get goosebumps till today i really really feel amazed and overwhelmed that how perfectly i was guided by that someone from the higher realms when i most needed if i really go back to my journey this was a time i was already married and i had already expressed my feelings to my twin flame while he was also married and there was this no talking period where he said that you please carry on with your life and let's not contact each other anymore during those years till he again contacted me it was a very very painful period of time for me because i was constantly feeling his energies and somewhere i wanted to get rid of those energies because i was not able to function in a normal way i was not able to put concentrated time towards my family my kid and there was such a huge guilt feeling attached to this whole scenario feeling that energy of him was completely becoming unbearable and i was not understanding how to deal with this whole thing so somewhere i decided that whenever i go to india i am going to meet this particular person who does past life regressions as well as he does cord cutting sessions and i want to go there and i just want to get rid of everything so that i am not remembering this person anymore and i am going to able to live my life very peacefully as i reached india and i scheduled this uh, session with this person to my family i was showing that okay i am everything is okay and i am enjoying everything but in my heart i was literally dying every minute so i was very very eager to attend this particular session the day arrived and i went for that session the session was good i was pretty much comfortable but the thing is that i didn't see anything much in on the first day and the therapist told me that you might need to take several more sessions to really understand what's happening with you and in the first session it's not necessary that you will get answers to your questions or you will see everything so i said okay so there were two sessions one was the past life regression and another was cord cutting so after we finished our past life regression i went into a cord cutting session and i told him that i would come again the next day i came home i slept that day and when i was about to get up in the next morning there is this period where you have woken up but you haven't really opened your eyes and you are in kind of a alpha state where you are about to get up i was in that sort of a situation and suddenly there was this flash flashing in front of me in my eyes like a vision and there were clear words there was this very rusted kind of a iron board 
which was very very ragged and very very old somebody had literally put nails and made holes in that iron rusted plank in the form of letters which clearly said please try not to come back that was the message it, which was written from those holes there were a lot of sun rays which were coming and i could clearly see and clearly read that message that please try not to come back and i immediately opened my eyes and i realized that this message was something related to my past life regression and there was something out there there was someone out there who was sending me this message that please try not to come back they were suggesting me literally very clearly that do not do any sort of a past life regression session i was amazed by this whole occurrence because in my whole journey i can say that i used to get signs i used to definitely feel that there is a divine presence and i am being guided but this was the first incidence in my life where it was a clear message given by some third party it was definitely not my imagination i felt that direct presence of somebody else who was trying to message me who was trying to guide me and that day i decided not to go for another session i called the guy i told him that i have decided not to continue with this session i cancelled that session somewhere something told me inside my heart that if there is somebody really there in a higher higher realm who is guiding me i should trust that guidance 100% even though i was really really in pain and i really wanted to get rid of that pain and i was thinking that maybe by doing some sort of a plr session i am going to get some sort of a solution or a solace or answers to my dilemma or pain but since i got this message i decided that let it just go and let it just be and just follow whatever guidance i am getting and i really feel great that i have followed that guidance and i did not really get drifted away in my pain and follow something which was not really there for my highest good because when i look back at my own journey now i now understand that why i was put through that particular phase of going through that particular pain even though it was literally unbearable that time it was literally feeling like dying thousand deaths that sort of a pain i was going through and now when i look back i understand that it would have been such a blunder if i had done any sort of a cord cutting session because as i progressed in my journey i realized that you cannot really cut a cord with your twin flame it is energetically undeniable sort of a connection and if you try and mess up with those energies by doing some sort of a cord cutting you might end up in even more mess energetically than you were before and somewhere my higher guidance guided me against that and just because i went through that pain i had to process that pain i had to find ways to bear that pain and in that process the way i transformed myself the way i could make myself stronger i think that was supposed to be that way there was no point in me going and running away from that pain and doing any sort of a cord cutting now the few points what i want to mention over here is that when this whole drama happened i was not awakened i was not knowing what the twin flame term is all about what is this connection all about till that time i was still considering myself some insane person who is unnecessarily getting obsessed about somebody i mean i used to feel like that for myself that i am going crazy i am getting insane why i am thinking about this person and why i can't really move on from that person so i used to look at myself as a insane and stupid person who is crazy about somebody so much in love with somebody when that person is not even looking at you why i am saying this because i want to make this a point that even when you are not awakened even when you don't know the term twin flame your uh, spirit guides from higher realm are perfectly guiding you 
and you are noticing that guidance you are receiving that guidance knowingly or unknowingly now at this point of time i was not aware of what was happening with me but i had started noticing that there is something happening on some another level somebody from that another level is trying to give me messages at least i had come to accept at least that much and i was being guided perfectly i want to tell all those who are struggling right now in validating this connection whether this connection is a twin flame connection or not i want to tell all those don't get into whether it is a twin flame or not it doesn't really matter what label you put on them what matters is that are you able to follow your guidance are you able to assimilate your experience and are you able to learn something from your experience that is what matters the most as i started processing this pain after i decided not to go into this session i was perfectly guided to correct books because that time uh, the time i'm describing this uh, as i was not awakened obviously I, i was not in touch with anybody else who was also going through the same experience so my internal quest my internal spiritual journey was completely internal i was on my own i had nobody to turn to i did not know whom to ask all these questions which were arising in my mind after a week i was just roaming around somewhere in some market in my hometown and i came across this book called the laws of the spirit world and that book literally caught my attention and i felt like picking that up and i ended up buying that book and somehow amazingly most of the answers to my questions were there in that book it was not directly talking to me on my topics but somewhere after reading that book i started getting much into peace as we say that you are not alone and your spirit team is always watching you they have taken care of me in my journey all way long whenever i was really really in unbearable pain they have always provided me solutions where i would find peace so this coming across this book and getting to read this book and getting almost all the answers to whatever dilemma i was facing at that particular time was sorted because of that book so within 2 3 weeks i again came to a place where i was able to handle my pain i was able to navigate through my experience in a much better way so here what i really want to tell everybody is that don't pay too much attention to the label twin flames because even if you are not considering this label whatever experience you are going through is 100% real and to assimilate that experience and to learn from that experience you need to pay keen attention to what your spirit guides are telling you what your inside gut is telling you and stick to that and trust that process trust them as they are guiding you never forget that you are taken care of you are never alone on this journey even though you may feel thousand times that you are put in some dark tunnel and nobody is there to help you that's not true it is just your assumption or your feeling that you are just pushed into some big darkness and there is no one but at that same time you are being tested you are also taken care of very well and you are loved every moment in your journey in whichever way in whichever depth of darkness you are going through you are protected you are supported you are guided you are healed and you are well taken care of so never forget that